Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. We're going to be taking a look at how the iPhone 7 has been holding up on the latest iOS 13.5.1. Now before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS 13.5.1 was a rather small update that only brought a security fix for the exploit used in Uncover 5.0, which allowed a jailbreak for iOS 13.5 on all devices including A12 and A13 iPhones and iPads. Now, while running iOS 13.5.1 on the iPhone 7, I have had no issues in terms of performance. Now, this is a good thing as iOS 13.5 ran perfectly fine. Now all normal, everyday tasks will perform just fine as well, and this is expected as iOS 13.5.1 was a very small update that simply fixed a security issue. Animations on iOS 13.5.1 have also been just as smooth as previous iOS 13 releases. The only complaint I still have is the missing unlock animation. Now this only happens on my iPhone 7, and it only happens every so often. Now after months of trying to replicate the issue on camera, I did accidentally catch it, however I did lose the clip when downgrading my MacBook from Vista Lina to Mojave. Now fortunately for me, as I was recording this video, I did manage to get it on camera again. Now if you do have this issue, let me know in the comments below. Now before we get into battery life, I'd like to take a second to mention that my iPhone 7 is running a maximum battery capacity of 94% and has not had a restart. Now this means that my iPhone 7 is not being performance throttled to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. Battery life while running iOS 13.5.1 on the iPhone 7 has been just as good as iOS 13.5. Now again, this is expected due to the contents of this update. However, that is a good thing as iOS 13.5 it did fix battery drain for many iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users. Now you can pull off a full day with light use while running iOS 13.5.1. If you're a medium to heavy user, I'd recommend keeping a spare charger with you or using a battery case as you may need to charge the iPhone a few times throughout the day. As for standby time, the iPhone 7 one night drained 12% and another 13%. So it's about 10% per night on standby. Now this is not as bad as the iPhone SE, but it's also not the best. Should you update? If you're still on iOS 13.5 or older and plan on updating to the iOS 14 beta on June 22nd, then there's really no reason not to. If you're on iOS 13.5 or older and don't plan on updating to the iOS 14 beta, yet you don't care for jailbreaking, then I'd also say there's really no reason to stay. If you're on iOS 12 or older and don't care for jailbreaking or plan on updating to the iOS 14 beta, I'd recommend updating to reduce the stress on your device. Lastly, if you are on iOS 12 or older, don't care for jailbreaking, and don't plan on updating to the iOS 14 beta, then I'd say now is an okay time to update. Being the small update that iOS 13.5.1 was, it does make sense that there hasn't been any really change in performance, animations, or battery life. Now, just 16 days away from the iOS 14 beta 1, I think it's safe to say that the iPhone 7 is pretty much ready for this release. Now, as always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.